Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the first week of October 2017. Now to get started this week we're going to begin where we always do with that all-important US dollar index. We can see that basically we have another top forming here at the 93.50. The dollar is advanced based around comments made by the FOMC but that just simply doesn't seem to be enough for any long-term reversal in the dollar. So when we look at the indicators from vantage point they are clearly showing dollar weakness we have our medium term crossing over our long term predicted difference in the opposite direction in which the market's been moving now the one point with the vantage point software that is of concern is that we are trying to push above the zero line on the predicted MACD now if this can complete we could see further dollar gains ahead but that's only going to be with further rhetoric of a rate hike in December and future rate hikes after that so in my respectful opinion the dollar gains are going to be very very limited going forward the key vantage point level has been breached 9236 so this is the level we want to watch in the early part of next week or this coming week excuse me so we can see if the dollar can hold above this critical level now as we look at the euro us you can see that as the dollar makes a top the euro us pair makes a bottom down at the 117 area now this 117 area is a very significant uh, level but we can also see the predicted MACD here trying to break below the zero line but it hasn't done it just yet so we formed a bottom at 117 our key vantage point level is 118.62 we will look to retake that area very early in the week by Wednesday or we could definitely see further downside on the euro now once again, the dollar has made the bulk of these gains on the perception that there's going to be a rate hike, but the data coming in uh, just, as, just as early as this past Friday has not shown any inflation. So the Fed's argument for a rate hike is a very weak one at best. So right now, further gains in the euro are actually likely. The U.S. was frank, a leading indicator for Euro U.S. You can see we've broken down and closed below this uh, more recent trend line. We're still above that key vantage point level at 96.52. So this level could be a buying opportunity, but if we break through the 96.52 area and close below this level, that is going to trigger further weakness. Now, if that does happen, that suggests that the equity markets may be moving lower also. Now, our, again, our indicators from vantage point are quite mixed here. Our predicted MACD has crossed above the zero line, suggesting that this area of 96.52 will hold, so we'll see how this one plays out. Now, with the pound dollar, we've stalled on the vantage point critical level, 133.43, a level that I've discussed with my own direct clients that we've been buying off of. So as long as this level continues to hold and we close above this area, we should see further gains. Now, the British pound is likely going to have a corrective phase. We can see a crossover on the predicted MACD that is down to the downside, but we are firmly above the zero line to make that clear. So... Uh, again, any move lower in the British pound is likely only corrective in nature. There are some political issues going forward with the British pound, but I think we're going to hold the bulk of these gains based around the Bank of England. Now, with the dollar yen for next year, next week, excuse me, we can see that every time if we look at this pair over the last six to nine months, it's a very repetitive formation here. And it looks like we're just repeating the same thing. We make a big move up, a big move down, then we go back up with a slightly lower high. We come back down, but we're making a, a, new, a lower low every time, almost every time we come back down. And now we've topped out here around 113. So 113.50 is a big level for next week and selling into that area is reasonable based around these indicators from vantage point. Now when I bring this back to our three month time frame so everybody can see this once again you can see that we're above the 111.40 area that is the critical vantage point 18 day predicted moving average but our medium term is crossed over our long term predicted difference our long-term predicted difference is clearly showing an overbought condition so this signal here is one to watch as the market's been going up the key vantage point indicator is moving in the opposite direction warning us that this pair is likely to fail very soon so we'll keep an eye on this one very 
very closely. Right now it carries a very mild bullish tone while above these two levels, 112.07 and 111.40, but I do anticipate further downside in the days ahead. Now, as we look at U.S. Canada, surprisingly, it has advanced higher, even though oil is moving higher also. But the Canadian economy, not on a solid footing at all with the, with the most recent prime minister, uh, again, spending more money than what he has. This is a very big negative for the Canadian dollar with with. Justin Trudeau in power. Uh, his father ran up absolutely unbelievable debts, you know, that we, the country has never really recovered from. So I expect Junior to do something along the same lines. And it's he's not, and a lot of things that are happening are not positive for the Canadian dollar. Now we could see rate hikes, but the problem with these rate hikes is, again, it's based around the potential of inflation. It can't, the Canadian economy is not showing any inflation and the Bank of Canada is talking about raising rates anyway. So that I don't think is going to come to fruition. I think the, the Bank of Canada will cool off the rhetoric and ultimately that will hurt the Canadian dollar. The, the key support level that we want to watch for next week, 123.65, this is a critical level uh, that we want to hold above. So I anticipate we will retrace to this level, but as long as this level holds, that's a buying opportunity. Now, when we look at the indicators here, they are moving into overbought territory. It warns that we could see a corrective move lower. We're approaching the zero line on that predicted MACD. A break above that zero line will, tr will signal further strength, but we are moving into overbought territory. So I, I suspect we, we potentially could have a corrective move first. Now, with Aussie US and New Zealand US, Aussie US right now basing out around the 77 area here. So we're going to be watching the beginning of the week to see if we can hold above 78 and if the Aussie can start to turn around and start moving back towards the vantage point 18 day predicted moving average at 79.19. Now, once again, the Aussie is moving into a longer term uptrend in my respectful opinion. We don't want to just look at this from a short term perspective when we're trading currencies. We always want to make sure we're looking at the bigger picture and you can see that we have a pre pretty firm base down here below 72. We've moved up, we've had a retracement, and then we have continued to advance higher, making repeated, repeatedly making new highs. So every time we've made a new high, we've had a retracement, but then that's been followed by an even bigger move to the upside. So we want to try and keep the bigger picture uh, in perspective when we're doing shorter term trades. The same thing that would apply to New Zealand US. Now New Zealand US is very interesting setup here that I want to bring everybody's attention to. We have an inside bar that's forming here right down in this consolidation period. The next big move on New Zealand US will happen if we can break above this area above 72.59 or if we break below 71.50 that will trigger a bigger move to the downside. So right now you can see that we're consolidating in this period in this range excuse me between 72.50 the vantage point 18 day predicted moving average and this range, this inside bar that's coming in around 71.55. So an interesting week ahead to say the least uh, with potentially some very good opportunity.